Leo, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you for the end of December going into January. And we'll find out what, what the energy is. Talking with Leo spirits. Okay, one more shuffle, Leo. <clears throat> okay. Find out what's going on, Leo. <clears throat> the first card you have is the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you here focused on your work. <clears throat> the High Priestess, Pisces energy. <clears throat> okay, someone. <clears throat> Someone's kind of feeling choky or something because my throat is feeling scratchy right now. There's something. I feel like there's something that you're not telling everybody, Leo, with the High Priestess energy here. The Hierophant is here next. This is Taurus energy. Seeing you committed to whatever it is right here that you're working on, you're very committed to this. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards after I get these laid out, Leo, so we'll find out what's going on in more detail. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The very center card of your reading is the king of wands, another king. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What's happening with Leo? The three of swords. This is heartbreak, pain. What's <clears throat> happening with Leo? We have the Page of Wands, so this is a, message, a messenger, I'm seeing you getting a message from someone in the near future that may be significant because it's showing up here, but we'll clarify. The Hangman, Pisces Energy, taking a look at the bigger picture after you receive a message. And then we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay, so let's start up here with this Eight of Pentacles and find out what it is that you're working on. Something's got your attention. This is something that you don't mind putting the work into. It's a wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. The star is here, the Hierophant again. And the Three of Cups. Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So this can be unexpected money that's coming out of this. Whatever it is I'm seeing you focused on here. This Eight of Pentacles is turning into the Ten of Pentacles. These Pentacles are your money. <clears throat> Whatever this wish fulfillment is for you that I'm seeing you very committed to right here, there's going to be a great celebration with the Three of Cups. This is a huge celebration where you could be celebrating with a few other people because there is a wish fulfillment. Why is the High Priestess here? 
Okay, we have the Four of Swords. The Death card. And the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. <clears throat> I, I'm seeing you here healing over an ending. Some, something in your life has come to... <clears throat> has come to a complete ending and I really feel like you're keeping this pain to yourself but there's a great opportunity coming with this ending there's a new beginning here and a great opportunity I'm seeing with the ace of pentacles this is something big okay so we have the lovers the four of pentacles and Pisces energy, the hangman again. Whatever this connection is, whatever this means to you, I'm seeing, this is Gemini energy, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I'm seeing you making a choice, making a decision, because the lover's card is a choice. To hold back. Hold back. This could be communication. But you're, you're holding back. You're looking for a higher level of commitment. Because I'm seeing you here in this hangman energy. Looking at the bigger picture and taking a time out. If you're not doing this, I'm seeing that you need to get rest or take a time out. This is what I'm seeing up here. Because there is a huge opportunity that's going to be presented if it's not already with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new start. Okay, and then we have the King of Pentacles. This is the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles again. So this could have something to do with your money. Yeah, there's a lot of growth here. And the world. The King of Pentacles. This is a king, but this is representing you, male or female. This is a strong energy here about your money. It's like you have your cake and you're eating it too. There could be something about a dog with someone here, but because I'm seeing a, a dog is really standing out to me here. But um, you could be opening up your own business. I'm seeing a lot of growth with the Empress energy here with your money. And so you could be traveling but um, you're definitely closing out an old cycle and entering into a new chapter in your life. There's something that has just recently closed, I feel like, with the, with the death card here. The center card of your reading, you have the king of wands. This is someone that doesn't take no for an answer very easily. This is someone who goes after what they want. This could be a teacher or someone at a distance from you. We have the star again. The knight of wands. And the page of cups. I'm seeing new love coming into your life. I'm seeing... I'm seeing all the signs here. Like I was just going to say, I, I see Aquarius very strong, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm seeing new love coming into your life. This is someone very nice looking, someone a lot of fun to be around. And I, I'm getting this feeling that this person 
is at a distance from you. And I feel like this person has some type of a healing effect with you. They make you feel comfortable at ease. <clears throat> and then we have the Three of Swords. Just like this card shows, there's three swords in the heart. And I'm seeing you setting that aside. Why is the Three of Swords here? I'm seeing someone from your past here, Leo, with the Six of Cups. I see someone from your past showing up in your energy. And I feel like this person was very selfish, very cold, didn't care who they hurt. And so you walked away from this person. It wasn't worth arguing with this person. Whoever this is, they will eventually come back, but the Knight of Pentacles is so slow. But I'm seeing that they will eventually return with an apology for the way they treated you. This is someone who just didn't care who they hurt. They just wanted to win at whatever game they were playing here. And then we have the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Ace of Cups. The Fool. And the Two of Pentacles. I'm seeing I'm seeing a choice put in front of you because I'm seeing someone right here that caused heartbreak and pain returning to you with an apology with the two of pentacles this is a choice a decision because there's new love coming into your life there's someone here that's going to take a leap of faith and approach you this is someone that is very very attracted to you there's a lot of passion here and I feel like this is someone that that is a very attractive person too I'm seeing a very attractive fiery type energy here and then we have the hangman let's get some more cards in here why is the hangman here? So I'm seeing you presented with a choice. And then in this energy of looking at the bigger picture and the hangman energy. That was too many. Why is the hangman here? Okay, so we have the queen of swords. The Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords again. Yeah, see, you have two people approaching you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is very strong here. But it could be any sign. But I'm seeing you cutting off someone in your life. You're making a head over heart decision, cutting off someone with the Queen of Swords energy. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That was breadcrumbing you. You're just, you're having an epiphany moment. This person left a scar. There's a, there's a lot of pain here.
seeing you this being in your thoughts this could be a Capricorn with the devil showing up or someone who has an addiction has addictions why is the devil here why is the devil here the queen of swords again because you're cutting this person off this is someone who is being manipulative they were very closed off and cold to you i'm seeing them being very closed off very cold and either lying, cheating, or stealing with the Seven of Swords. And a very manipulative energy with the Magician showing up here. So I'm seeing you holding up your sword, cutting this person off. Making a head over heart decision. Over this energy right here. This devil energy. Okay. So let's see what this person wants to say to you. Whichever person, you, I'm seeing new love coming into your life, Leo. And I'm seeing someone from the past that is showing up in your energy. We're going to start with Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I hope you can forgive me one day. Cancer. I'm so attracted to you. Scorpio. I lied to you. Aries. I don't trust you. Leo, if you're dealing with another Leo. I took the easy way out. Sagittarius, I lost myself for a little while, Aquarius, I love you, Libra, I pretend you don't mean that much. Gemini. You did not break me. Taurus. We are more alike than I admit. I'm waiting for an apology. Virgo, the timing just wasn't right for us. Capricorn, I left when I saw you with someone. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I regret lying to you. Okay, Leo, let me just grab you a couple of Moonology cards for advice. I'm just going to shuffle one time, Leo. What does Leo need to know, Spirits? Expect powerful change and emotions are running high. And let me just get one more Moonology card. 
prosperity lies ahead. And on the bottom of the deck, you are good enough. Okay, Leo, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help and bring you clarification to see the bigger picture. Thank you for taking the time to spend with me. And um, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and being here with me. And I send you lots of love and light, Leo. Namaste.